All right, Illini fans, Illinois plays their first game in Spain. They come back to win 84-73. So let's take a look at some numbers of the first game, and let's see if it's the same old, same old story. And it is terrible, horrible three-point shooting, just like it was last year. Horrible free throw shooting just like it was last year and rebounding nothing special again just like last year so doesn't look like anything's changed too much and of course we can't forget turnovers still going strong don't you just love it nothing is better than seeing a player not develop nothing is better than seeing a player who has a weakness and then has the same weakness five, four years later. That tells me that they're working really hard in the gym. Just fantastic. So Shannon Jr., 3 for 10 from the floor, 0 for 6 from 3. Um, five turnovers in 21 minutes. We don't need that. We don't need that kind of game from him. Unacceptable. Absolutely unacceptable. Don't care who they're playing. Don't care when it is. You're supposed to be the best player on this team. And as a result, you can't have a game like that. Sincere Harris. He made a layup today. At least one. I've seen the highlight. He finished at the rim. And I tweeted at him. If you can finish at the rim... You will have your best year yet. Period. Last year, he couldn't make a layup. If he can make a layup this year, that makes him way better. Six for 14. He took 14 shots. Sincere Harris took more shots than anyone. Interesting. One for five from three. Three turnovers. He had five steals. So, five steals, very nice. 23 minutes. Gibbs, 2 for 6. 0 for 2 from 3. And one turnover in 11 minutes. Like to see him get more playing time. Harmon, 3 for 7 from the floor. 0 for 1 for 3. Um, no turnovers in 17 minutes. I love to see no turnovers. That's just great. Um, Red. No shots taken in six minutes of play. Goody, three for eight, two for six from three. And he had no turnovers in 20 minutes. That's, you know, I love to see players not turn the ball over. Uh, Morietti, no shots taken from the floor. Two assists, two turnovers in 14 minutes, two steals. 14 minutes of basketball, and you can't even take one shot? I don't like that. Uh, Guerrero, however you say it, one for two from the floor. One turnover, two steals in four, what, four, no, 23 minutes. No, three turnovers in 23 minutes. Once again, we want to get the turnovers down. Nine rebounds, though, so good for him. Um, that's good. No, that's four rebounds for him. I'm mixing it up. Rodgers, three from five from the floor with nine rebounds. One for five from three. I mean, from the free throw line. And um, two assists, three turnovers in 23 minutes. So I get those numbers mixed up. It's all a blur. All these numbers like this. Um, Coleman Hawkins, 3 for 9 from the floor, 0 for 4 from 3, 8 rebounds, and 1 turnover, no assist in 19 minutes. I'm not even going to say anything. His numbers say it all. Uh, Hansberry, 1 for 3 from the floor, uh, no, 1 turnover in 11 minutes. He's got to be more aggressive than that. 
Dane Danger, 7 for 10 from the floor, 2 for 6 from the free throw line. Got to be better than that. 15 rebounds, 3 turnovers in 19 minutes. So, it's pretty clear to see. Dane is going to lead the team in rebounding. That's going to be pretty obvious to see. Hawkins, when we get into regular season play, if Coleman Hawkins doesn't average at least 10 rebounds a game, that is a shame and a disgrace. Absolutely is. Three-point shooting as a team, three for 25. Three for 25, just like last year. These numbers are just like last year. Nothing's changed. Listen, if you are a bad three-point shooter, you're not going to spend one offseason and then become a good three-point shooter. It doesn't happen. And it especially doesn't happen to players without special talent, which none of these players have. There is no future NBA Hall of Famer on this team. So it's just not realistic. That's why I don't deal with those things. I deal with realistic things, such as um, Sincere Harris needs to be able to make a layup. I think that's realistic. Coleman Hawkins needs to be in the paint, not shooting threes. I think that should be realistic. I think Dane should get the ball every time he's open in the paint. That should be realistic. Um, for Ty Rogers, I'm glad you didn't take a three. You're going to go to the free throw line a lot. I would advise you to work on your free throws. Same thing for Dane. You're going to go to the line a lot. Work on your free throws. So I want to see Shannon Jr. I know you want to show you can make the three. There's only one problem. You can't make the three. You're not a three-point shooter. Just stop it. Let it go. Drive to the rim and then drive to the rim again and then drive to the rim again. Drive to the rim, finish at the rim, make free throws. That is your game. I'm telling you guys right now, if this is the way they want to play this season, where they want to shoot threes and go three for 25 from the floor, you can expect a lot of losses again this season. This team will suck. 17 out of 31 from the free throw line. For Illinois, that would be decent compared to last year. That's that's decent for Illinois, but not good. 17 out of 31 is not good. So, last year, three-point shooting, the worst in the, in, in the nation. Free throw shooting, one of the worst in the nation. Turnovers, one of the worst in the nation. And it looks like with 21 turnovers, and once again, they're playing Madrid, a team from Spain. So they're not playing competition. And this is the numbers they put up. It's the first game. Yes. Could it get better? Ha, 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 ha. Go ahead and believe that if you want to. I'm telling you right now, this is what it is. Once again, they're going to be a bad three-point shooting team, a bad free-throw shooting team, and they're going to be a team that turns the ball over way too much. Same thing as last year. Nothing has changed. There is hope, though. If Shannon Jr. can get it through his thick head that he cannot make threes, and he attacks the rim over and over again and makes his free throws, that's going to give me hope. If Sincere Harris can stop shooting threes, if you think Shannon Jr. can't shoot a three, well, Sincere Harris is even worse than him. So if Sincere Harris can get it through his head to attack the rim, make your free throws, finish at the rim, there's hope there. Gibbs, we know he can dunk. Take more shots. Be more aggressive. Dunk on people. Go to the rim. That's That will give me hope. Harmon... I, I've never seen the guy play. Can't speak on it. Red, never seen it. Goody, 
you're the only hope for three point shooting in our on our team. If you don't, if you can't shoot the three, we don't have any hope. So Luke Goody's got to get his three point shooting dialed in. We're gonna need it because he's the only one that can do it. But three for eight, two for six from three, not gonna get it done when you play a real team. The little Italian point guard, you're probably not even going to play that much. And you're definitely not going to play if you play 14 minutes and you don't even put up a shot. You got to be better than that. Be aggressive. Rodgers, three from five from the floor, nine rebounds in 23 minutes, two assists. Rodgers said that he was going to be the point guard on his team. He said all his teammates believed in him. Well, three turnovers and two assists, and you're the point guard? Yeah, Illinois doesn't have a point guard. It's not going to go good, folks. If you believe Ty Rogers can be a point guard, yeah, it can't happen. His dribbling's not good. Um, Yeah, it's not going to work out good, I promise you. Um, So hopefully he can move on from trying to be a point guard and do what he does best. Just... A little bit of everything. Hawkins, there's hope if he goes to that rim every time he's in that paint. That will give me hope. And if he can get 10 rebounds a game, I'll cry. I'll cry. I really will. This is his fifth year. And he can't get 10 rebounds in the game? Unacceptable. Hansberry, be aggressive. Be aggressive. Take more shots. Please, I beg you. That gives me hope. Dane, just keep doing that. Keep doing that. We'll take it. 15 rebounds, 16 points in 19 minutes? Oh, please give that to us in Big Ten play. So there it is, folks. There is your first game for the Illini. And we will wait for the game two to happen, and we'll look at the box score. And I know some of you will be hopeful that the three-point shooting will be greatly improved. Free throw shooting will be improved. Turnovers will be down. But don't hold your breath. It's not going to happen. Yeah, every once in a blue moon, Shannon's going to make some threes. It's going to happen every once in a blue moon. And you'll be happy about it, yeah. But it's not going to be normal. So I can promise you that. So anyway, um, that's what it is what it is. Illinois basketball. Nothing to be excited about. I promise you.